Yeah, this is my brother-in-law, Dan. What's up? Uh, he hasn't always been the most energy-efficient guy in the world, but <laughs> lately, <laughs> lately he's turned over a new leaf. Well, this holiday season, I went ahead and put LED uh, lights on my tree and on the outside of my house. The, uh, the old lights, uh, some of the fuses were breaking on them, and so it was time to, to get some new lights. Um, and we wanted something that would last a little bit longer. So what we did is we went with these new LEDs because the, uh, the bulbs don't burn out. And um, we, uh, we wanted to get something that might save a little bit of power to uh, reduce our, our power bill. We've already noticed a big change. So you got the uh, LED lights here outside on your house as well. Looks very nice. You're kind of a kind of a one-string holiday lighting guy. Um, yes, <laughs> I uh, my wife prefers that. Uh, she likes the straight, clean lines. Um, I do like these because uh, they they kind of have the appearance of the bigger bulb, but inside is just the normal little LED light. And as you can see, it gives off decent light. It looks good out here. I think they were about six to eight bucks a strand. Um, but what was nice about them is it used to be that I'd had to run uh, four strands or five strands. Now I'm just running three. Sweet. Uh, we turn on our Christmas lights right after Thanksgiving every year. And uh, last year, looking at my bill, um, the average daily temperature was about three degrees warmer but um, we used uh, nine kilowatts, uh, kilowatt hours per day less this month than we did the same month last year, which is a big deal. So that's a savings of about 78 cents a day. <laughs> this is typically how I operate. Uh, the laptop go in, uh, I, uh, for stuff that I'm doing at the same time, I use my, my iTouch. Then uh, I text people with my phone, and I'm watching the game on the TV. And so, uh, as you can see, I'm constantly using several devices that all use a lot of power. So I'm not exactly a uh, power conserver. But you do have the uh, CFLs right here, right? Uh, yeah, we've got those fancy... Uh, corkscrew light bulb things. Um, they, uh, they're nice because uh, I think they give off a good good light. Apparently they save money, uh, but what I like best is that I never have to change them. Um, you know, we had the old incandescent light bulbs and they were burning out all the time. Uh, I don't think I've changed this one in four years. Yeah, I noticed you got, uh, you got a lot of things just plugged in here um, in the garage. Yes, I've got the uh, old fridge from the uh, kitchen when we Upgraded the kitchen. We got a nicer, bigger refrigerator. So here's the old fridge. Um, it keeps our uh, soda pop cold. Okay. Uh, which is important, especially in the winter time. Um, <laughs> and then this one is a freezer. Uh, this is important. You know, you got all your food that needs to be frozen in there. Right. So uh, could we do without this one? No, I, I don't think so. Um, we don't need the freezer on this one, unfortunately. Uh, we have it, but it, there's nothing in there. Now you, so. you know that uh, if you if you call up Rocky Mountain Power, you can get your old inefficient fridge or freezer twenty five bucks. Recycled. Yeah, I think it's like thirty. So. Thirty bucks. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, so uh, as soon as they come up with a better way for me to keep my soda cold. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one step at a time, right? <laughs> one step at a time. But I, I am riding a scooter nowadays, so I do save fuel that way. That's, That's good. good. Saving the environment.